What's up everybody? So today I am at Champion Car Company with the 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Huge shout out to Champion Car Company for providing this vehicle for today's video. Be sure to check out their website in the description below. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. Underneath the hood is a 6.2 liter direct injected 8 cylinder engine, cranking out 455 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 460 foot pounds of torque at 4,600 RPM. The engine is either paired to a 7 speed manual transmission or the 8 speed shiftable automatic. And with the transmissions mounted as a transaxle, this car has nearly 50 50 weight distribution. With the 8-speed automatic transmission, you're going to be seeing 0 to 60 times around 3.7 seconds. And with the 7-speed manual, like this particular vehicle, you're looking closer to just under 4 seconds. With the cylinder deactivation and the advanced technology in this 8-cylinder engine, it achieves 17 miles per gallon city and 29 highway. Ventilated disc brakes are on all four corners, measuring 13.6 inches up front with a 6-piston caliper and 13.3 in the rear with a 4-piston caliper. This has 19 inch wheels in the rear, powder coated gloss black, wrapped in the Michelin Pilot Super Sports. For the front, you get an 18 inch wheel. The overall curb weight is 3,300 pounds with a height of 48.8 inches. The length is 176.9 inches with a wheelbase of 107.6. The C7 carries over a similar profile to the C6, but with the addition of sharp lines and a more edgy appearance, I personally like the changes because it gives it a much more aggressive style. The front end is wide appearing with a large grille leading to the radiator. The air passes through the newly mounted radiator, gets directed up and over the vehicle through the hood vent to allow for better aerodynamics. This also has upgraded headlights with LED daytime running lights, and in certain angles it looks a lot like a Ferrari. On the front quarter panels, you get the classic Stingray badge, as well as a heat extraction vent. The overall side profile has that classic wedge shape, which achieves an extremely muscular appearance. The new rear end went through a lot of changes with this new generation. Square shaped taillights rather than the traditional round ones. I personally like them a lot, it adds a lot of character to the rear end, and it matches well with the edgy appearance. Get the rear spoiler up top teardrop shaped rear glass, integrated third brake light, and of course the quad exhaust. Coming along the roof, on the rear of the glass, the dot matrix has actually been replaced with mini Corvette logos, and this does have the removable Targa roof. To remove the Targa roof, all you have to do is release the two levers located above the sun visors, release the center lever in the back, lift off the roof, place it directly into the rear end. And now with the key, let's go ahead and check out the interior. Like all Corvettes, you press the rubber pad on the back of the door, you can open it up, and let's check it out. The C7's interior has been updated drastically from the C6, and this one especially with all the red leather accents. The door panel has black leather, red leather and red stitching, aluminum accents, automatic up and down windows, power locks, memory seats, and the Bose audio system. Along the door sill, you get the Corvette logo and name, Full power adjusting leather seating, the Corvette emblem up top, round leather wrapped steering wheel with red stitching and the Corvette logo in the center. Now inside the vehicle I'll go ahead and press the engine start button with my foot on the clutch and the brake. Get a digital display in the center and you can change up the tacks a little bit. Scrolling with the wheel down here, 
you can go between your different driving modes. You have weather, eco, touring, sport, and track. You have your speedometer on the left side, engine temperature and fuel level on the right. This has more aluminum accents along the steering wheel, your cruise control settings, Bluetooth settings, as well as the scrolling for the dash. You can scroll through different settings, scrolling up through them. You can have the nav system in there, audio controls, different performance settings. And behind the steering wheels with the 7-speed manual, you get your rev match buttons. When we're driving it later, we'll go over how those operate. On the bottom side, you have your trunk release, your motion sensor, heads-up display button, info. You can change your side mirrors. Red leather along the dash with your heads-up display unit. Some more red stitching and black leather. Your touchscreen navigation system and pressing the screen button on the left, it'll slide down. And you have a lot of space back here and a USB port. And for your navigation system, you just hit the home button to get to home. You can go to your navigation, audio, phone, some different settings. All your climate control settings, your fan temperature, fan speed, all the different zones, heated seats, ventilated seats, and this does have the seven speed manual transmission. The throws are nice and short, very stiff, easy to pop it into each gear. For seventh gear, it's like reverse. You have to push it harder over to pop it in there, and same with the reverse. And with reverse, your backup camera automatically turns on. And when you turn the steering wheel, the guidelines change as well. Underneath the shifter, we have your traction control on off switch, the mode selection that we already saw, electronic park and brake, more aluminum accents, two cup holders, and then the 12 volt. This also has a cool looking grab handle with more red leather and more aluminum accents. The center console opens up to the side, a little bit of space in there, some USBs and another 12 volt. You can fit a phone and a wallet in there. And then checking out the glove box. Nice little spot back in there. More red leather and vents for the passenger. They can control the heated seats, ventilated, and their climate control. This does feature a Bose audio system. Awesome looking red interior. And now to check out the trunk, we'll go ahead and just press the button. Corvettes have always had pretty large trunk spaces. This does have 14 cubic feet of space. Excellent amount of room back in here. And like we saw, the roof fits nicely. And you can see the different latches for it. Now we'll take another look at the interior from the passenger side. Fantastic looking interior comparing it to the C6. High quality leathers, soft touch plastics, and all of the silver trim is aluminum. And then taking a closer look at the Targa roof, these handles, you just pop them like that on each side. And then in the rear one, you push this piece up with your thumb and the handle comes down. So in the Corvette C7, let's go for a drive. This does have an active exhaust system and the valves are open right now and they will be the whole day. And this car sounds pretty awesome already. So we're driving with the gauges in the race mode with the hockey stick shaped tachometer. And since it's a manual, you do also get the gear up on your heads up display as well as the dash. Driving with this gearbox is really nice. It's extremely easy to pop it into each gear. Using the paddle shifters to activate the rev matching is pretty simple. You just hit either of the paddles. The gear will illuminate yellow. And now every time you shift, it'll automatically rev match. You can hear it do that right when you get to the beginning of each gear. The clutch pedal isn't heavy at all. It's extremely fluid to use. And driving around with the roof off is an awesome experience. I love how this does have the coupe styling with the Targa roof. 
you pop it off, throw it in the trunk, and you have now a convertible. The wind in my hair and everything about it is fantastic. And that crazy sounding exhaust system is even louder. Also pretty good the frameless mirror is nice to look at side mirrors do their job properly and the handling and suspension in this car is fantastic you just touch the steering wheel and you can feel the car moving and then taking a sharp turn The C7 Corvette has undergone drastic changes comparing it to the C6. Full aluminum construction that results in a 100 pound lighter frame and 57% increased rigidity. The hood has been made of carbon fiber along with the roof. And the overall exterior lines are much more sharp, bold styling, and this car now has the interior and exterior to compete with the European rivals. The Corvette has such a huge following with so many fans in America and even worldwide and after driving the brand new C7, I can see why. Well I hope you all enjoyed that video as much as I did filming it. The new Corvette is a fantastic vehicle. The exterior is extremely sharp looking, bold lines, everything about it I think comes together perfectly. The interior, leather everywhere, stitching, very high quality feeling. Everything is in the right position. The driver position is fantastic. The steering is super tight. Suspension is awesome. I don't see anything wrong with this car. There's no corners cut. It is just a fantastic American sports car. So thank you all for watching. Once again, huge thank you to Champion Car Company for providing this vehicle for today's video. Be sure to check out their website in the description below. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you all next video. And as I pass a Z06 Corvette.
<laughs> you gotta wave to the Corvette owners, I guess. <laughs>